Tuve climbs in against Gray. Off we go from Minnesota. And game three starts with a Gray strike. Again, up in the zone, still buckled him. A one two. Reaches out, grounds it through the middle, a base hit for Altuve. Just about to say, he's setting him up. <laughs> he buckled, he knows he's going to get another one, and then he just promptly bangs it to center field. He is unbelievable. Nobody out in the first, and a 2 2 pitch to Bregman. Got it. No, it slides back onto the plate. Here's Alvarez, dangerous hitter, hugs one down the line. It's a fair ball. Kirilov could not corral it cleanly. Kepler has to flag it down. Altuve stops at third. It's a double for Alvarez and two in scoring position for the Astros, who are threatening in the first inning. Changed it from a hit to an error on Kirilov. And Tucker serves it in the left field to put the Astros in front. Altuve will score. Alvarez holds up at third. And Kyle Tucker has his first RBI of the series after leading the American League this year. It's one to nothing, Houston. Pitch to Abreu. Is launched to left field. That one's gone. No doubt about it. It's Jose Abreu with a three-run blast in the first and a four-run assault on Sonny Gray. That got out quick. That's the breaking ball. You, you just talked about it. He is so good at hitting that strike breaking ball. AJ, you talked about it. Abreu saw so much of Sonny Gray throughout his career, had struggled for the most part against him, fanning on a lot of the pitches you talked about, but he made the adjustment there, and it's 4 nothing. Okay, so we just... He's got to do something to try to get back on track. 0-2. Throws him with that sinker, and he often throws to the right-handers. Two strikeouts in the inning, but four runs across, including three on this Abreu blast. What? Well, you know he's going to hit the strike breaking ball. You know he's going to hit thigh-high pitches really well. Right there, he got the perfect. He got the perfect pitch for him to hit. He got the perfect dose of either one of those, both of those, right there. Giving up a home run on that pitch. His idea, as you see the pop-up here, is to get that pitch outside of the strike zone, not in like that. Well, four across. He's going to throw that slider to righties. He's going to throw some different stuff to lefties, but oh, he's working the top of the zone for the most part over and over and over and over again. To the close of the regular season. A 2-2 pitch from Javier is a breaking ball that drops in for called strike three. A nasty slider to freeze Julian. Your friendly strike zone back there, too. Not that time. A little bit low, and Polanco draws the walk. <laughs> Kepler hits one deep to right field. Ranging back is Tucker at the track. Turns around. It's off the wall. Here comes Polanco getting the stop sign at third. Kepler slides in with a double. Two in scoring position for the Twins. 0-2. Oh, and he got him with that slider. Tailing away. Indeed got the chase. Contact. A 1-2. He could not catch up with the fastball, and Javier gets out of the jam. These guys with fastballs. 2-2. Two -two. Punched on the ground through the hole, a base hit for Pena. See, sometimes it's, it's, more than, it's even more than that for a pitcher. You know, you give up a couple of hits to him. I earn a sweeper. I'll get into that in just a second. Maldonado, one of the best sacrifice bunters in baseball, drops a perfect one down here. Gray throws him out, but Maldonado moves Pena into scoring position. So it's just weird, right? Like hitters don't see that. Got Altuve looking on a fastball. Got him on three pitches. And that's a big second out. Uh, you know, you might have seen some scribble on there. Bregman grounds it to third. Good backhand play by Lewis being tested on defense. And a great stretch by Kirilov at first to help retire the side. For Nothing in two on Kirilov. He goes down swinging. I got to imagine, and you guys know this so well because you played at different times. To try to get the rookie, Walner, who waves through the breaking ball and misses. Another strikeout, his fifth. The voice of newly retired Adam Wainwright and A.J. Perzinski. Castro right. pops up a bunt, and the catcher, Maldonado, he's got it. You can tell the Twins are just trying to do anything they can to get on base. Yeah, it was Wayno, you're going to cry and say it's an error, but that's a hit. 
not crying. It just wasn't there. See, that's a hit, too. That's a hit. <laughs> same spot for Alvarez hugging that first baseline. It's going to be the same result. He's going to end up at second base. Kepler got to it fast, as fast as he could, but Jordan Alvarez officially. They're not going to chase. A 3-1. Tucker bounces it right side to move Alvarez. Polanco makes the play, and there's one down. 0-2 pitch. Did he go? He did. That's what you guys were looking for. He can throw the sweeper down and away. He got him for a strikeout. Huge second out. The seventh pitch to Diaz. Drops it in for called strike three. 15 for the Minnesota Twins. Waits for a 2-2 from Javier. Who hits him this time? No heartbeat, no adrenaline, just sink. That's, that's a great eye by Julian, one of the best on base guys on this roster. 2-2. There's the fastball, and he could not catch up. Already a sixth Javier strikeout. And the first down. For strikeouts when they need it. Kepler lifts one to left field. Alvarez has to shield his eyes from the sun, and he's got it. Back to second goes Jeffers. Back to first goes Julian. Two down. It is messed with these left-handed hitters' timing. Lewis hits one hard to left. Alvarez tracking it, trying to get there. He's got it. Just missed it, did Lewis. First two postseason plate appearances in his career, and there is his first postseason hit as he loops it over Correa for a single. And the leadoff man has been on base in all four innings for Houston. Two and one on Pena, who skies one. Into short right field, Polanco out, it's Kepler coming in, and he squeezes out number one. What is it, the eye pitch machine, right? Isn't that what it's called, the eye pitch? This team much better than we do. There's a 3-1. Maldonado pops it up. Same spot. And same result. Kepler's there for out number two. You think they want to keep Maeda? 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh, he throws oh. him with the oh. fastball. I love it. Oh, the chess match between Gray and Al. He'll climb in against Javier to lead off the home fourth. And swing away and bounce one to his counterpart, Jeremy Pena, the man who replaced him in Houston. And he's retired on one pitch. Behind home plate, and what you see is a hitter. Bouncing ball to the right side this time. Altuve is there. Two up and two down on a couple of ground ball outs from Javier. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch. Boy, Walner goes down swinging, and Christian Javier, an eight-pitch fourth frame. He has struck out seven twins through four shutout innings. Well, the strike ratio, 61% strikes from Christian Javier so far. Alex Bregman sends one high and deep to left field. Ranging back is Walner at the track. He leaps, and it's gone. Alex Bregman able to lift one just over that left field wall. He's got the homer, and Houston's got the 5-0 lead in the fifth on Sonny Gray. Two homers allowed by Sonny Gray today. It's another sweeper. It's another sweeper. Those guys, and, and Sonny's missed up with that a little bit today, but that's another sweeper, just another, another indication. They're still sitting slow. You, can't, you, you will not be able to convince me that they're not sitting slow on Sonny Gray. Just, just too many good swings. Contest, too. And Alvarez strokes one down the right field line, another breaking ball, and Alvarez punches it into the right field corner for a third time, and this guy is inevitable right now. He's got five hits in this series, all start this inning, including the Bregman homer. That's just a hanger, you know, Sonny wants that one back. Middle in, belt high, a hitter's dream. You know, especially when you're already sitting slow. Even if you weren't sitting slow, you're probably going to react really well to that to that pitch. Three and one on Tucker. Gray, you can hear that grunt trying to exert that force to that fastball. He misses. Fastball is popped up. Right side. Polanco calls off Kirilov, and he's got it. 0-2 to Diaz, is waved on and missed. Pagan gets the strikeout of the fastball. Diaz. You're not freezing. There's Dubon. He swings and sends a fly ball to left field for Walner. 
Angling in, and he's got it. The weather played a little bit of havoc there, but he's got it. American League team of the last six years. Castro will take ball four, and the leadoff man is aboard. There goes the runner, Jeffers. Swings and lifts one to deep center field. Ranging back is Dubon. He's at the track. He's got it, and Castro has to race back to first. It's a walk. Second time that Julian has walked. Two walks in this inning. Payoff delivery. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. They're loaded for Kepler. Breaking ball. Called. Strike three on the curve. Another nasty breaking ball when he needed one with the bases jammed. Lewis swings and misses. Christian Javier gets out of another jam with a day. Two homers, beg your pardon. No, no, no. And that one's inside on Pena. The leadoff man yet again is on base every inning. Runner goes. Pena takes off. Maldonado hits it off the glove of Lewis, and there goes Pena for third. Infield is in, Altuve hits it towards short. What a catch by Correa. Neither Pena nor Maldonado was too far off the bag, but that was a... He's got that splitter. Bregman lifts this ball into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. On to second goes Maldonado. Waiting for a moment was Pena to make sure it dropped. It did. He touches home. Bregman's got a second. The ball coming into him, we know. Mm-hmm. Ball in, broke his bat that time. Kepler's going to fire to second to get one out there. Correa was ready. They retire Bregman. On to third goes Maldonado on the fielder's choice for Alvarez. Tucker was one of their best, but he'll punch that on the ground to Polanco. One run across, though, for Houston to add on to their lead at six. Yep. Kershaw and Miller. Correa bounces one towards the right side. Passed Altuve, a base hit. Just one hit against Javier through five innings. Hunter Brown comes on. And Solano has been fairly effective against both. He lifts one into right field. Coming down is Tucker. He's got it. There's out number one. And back to the bat goes Correa. Out of here. Payoff pitch. A good eye from Walner. And he turns around and starts to nod at his dugout. We've seen this a couple. Call itself. A 1-1. Hard hit ball into right field, a base hit. Going to get the go sign for Correa. He will come home to score the game's first run for Minnesota. An RBI from Castro. Jeffers on the ground is short. What a play by Pena. Flip to Altuve. Relay to first in time. Inning ending double play. They get back into it. He might think about making a move, but Kenta Maeda. Give me everything you got. That's yeah, the I, I, I think I think if that ball gets through, Golden Sombrero in his first playoff start, he will. But it's a ground ball to Lewis, and he's retired. Two down. To describe really yeah. changed everything. Maeda gets a one-two-three inning. Don't overlook that. This is, these are key innings for Maeda to throw. Giving up a run in the postseason in a long time. Strike three. Got the slider through the back door to get Julian to start off this seventh inning. One down. He had a four out outing in game one of this series. Polanco to first. It's grabbed by Abreu. He'll flip to Abreu. Oh, wow. There you go. Abreu to Abreu. Two down. Facing the German born Max Kepler. Who waves and misses in a one, two, three, seventh inning. An impressive performance by the Twins in the 12th round in 2017, debuted two and a half years ago. Pena lifts one out towards center field. Castro's there. Good thing to game plan against. Payoff pitch from over to Maldonado is hit hard to left field, racing over his Walner to the wall, and it's off the base of the fence. Maldonado will have to keep it to a single as Walner played it well. How about this? 
terms of trying to cut runners down. He's had better numbers than Maldonado. As Altuve lifts that on out to left field. Walner coming on makes a great catch. That'll retire Altuve for the second out and send Maldonado start all the time. Days. One two pitches called strike three. Nice work by Bailey over gives up a single but nothing more. He's unable to do much. He struck out here. He hits one hard but right to Pena and there's one away in the eighth. Just five outs left. You got Correa Solano Walner slow it down. Correa towards right center field Dubon racing over he gets there for out number two. You have to make the hitter go at your pace before the pitch clock because you can't step off at all with there's when there's nobody out there. Nasty breaking ball by Maton Solano frozen. It's a really really cool symmetrical moment today. Alvarez hits one high to right field pretty well struck back to the wall and gone. This guy is on a different planet right now. Your Don Alvarez with his fourth home run of the series his second off over and it's seven to one. My goodness. Don't pitch to him. I don't care what the situation is. It's unbelievable. Buddy, you played. I'm, I, I hesitate to make the comparison, so I won't make the comparison for the two guys directly. But you played with Barry Bonds. And this is the type of like stuff you saw from Bonds where no matter who the pitcher was, no matter what the pitch was, he was hitting it a long way. And you're saying you got to treat him. Like it, it really is. It, it's an honor to watch him hit. And the way he builds at bats and the way he just dominates the batter's box. He walks in that batter's box. He's not afraid of anything. They tried to go in. They missed location up. When he hit it, I was like, that might be too high. But as soon as the right fielder turned around and nice stopped catch. running, it's a homer. He's got that leg kick, too. He's got that leg kick where when you're pitching against him and he gets that leg up and you're you're kind of like you, you go to you go to throw it to the home and you're like, I don't know if I want to throw it right now. He's but, Jordan Alvarez is making that trade look. Oh boy. Abreu again. Another one, and this one to the upper deck. The route is on in game three. He's making that upper deck seem like it's not that far away. This place, to get it into the upper deck, AJ, you got a smack one. He's hit two up there now, and they were they were both touched <laughs> like I said oh boy he's one of those guys you give up one to him your ears hurt you know Soon. nothing at two on Diaz Oof. second homer for Abreu he gets Diaz going down swinging Oof. That was loud. Jeez. You know what he just said right there, too? That that reaction says he doesn't hit that. That's not what he hits, but he's seen a whole ton of them this this whole series. Hard hit ball from Dubon, and that gets down for a base hit. Into the Air Force Reserve. His wife Savannah is a captain in the Air Force. Pena hits one hard to right field. Pushing Kepler all the way back to the track for out number two. Back to the first base bag goes Dubai. Jax has one of those sweepers that will make that will make a hitter look. Oh, the 37-year-old from Puerto Rico. Waves and misses. Griffin Jax, nice change up that time. That'll retire the side in the ninth. Last chance for the twin. But man, he could let you have it when you read <laughs> out of line. Matt Walner starts the inning with a walk. Sky high off the bat of Castro. Bregman is there. He's got it. One away. Pull at it. But I love it because it's my friends. <laughs> One two pitch to Jeffers in there on a change up for called strike three. There are two down here in the ninth. Saying it until someone knocks out the champ. They're going to be the champ and they're going to play with confidence and dominated the game. They dominated today nine to one the final score. Jordan Alvarez did it again. Four home runs in this contest by the Astros two from Abreu his first career multi home run postseason game nine to one the final.
can't wait for tomorrow. It's postseason baseball. It's in the air. Minnesota's going to be rocking. It's going to be awesome. It'll be Joe Ryan for the Minnesota Twins. Possibly Jose Urquidy coming up in game four for the Astros. We'll find out, but it's going to be a 2-1 series lead. The Astros in front in game four tomorrow on FS1. For AJ, Adam, Tom, and the great women and men of our crew, Adam Amin sending you to Kevin Burkhardt and the guys in Los Angeles for more right after this.